It's Taiwan's Pompeii, a grave site where once farmlands and farmers thrived. With such dramatic changes to the landscape, engineers face a monumental task. They need to remap the entire location before they can decide where to lay a new road. And there is another danger. The disaster has stripped the surrounding highlands of vegetation cover that hold loose soil together, making the area a perfect target for deadly landslides. If the team make any mistake in plotting out the new path, the tragedy of Xiao Lin village may repeat itself. Engineers spend weeks working out a solution. Finally, they make a drastic move. They decide to build a new but temporary road that will literally walk on water. Their plan is to create a raised detour over a river that leads right into the heart of Minchuan village. The new route will cut straight through the terrain, avoiding the danger zones while cutting transportation time in half. An army of 20-ton diggers are rushed onto site to begin raising a road. In order not to impede the river flow and burst the banks, engineers stack rows of giant hollow concrete columns. Next, they devise giant stilts made from reinforced steel to raise the road high above the waterway. With over 12 kilometers of road left to lay, the team has much to do. While the road crews work overtime, the team is busy finalizing the location of the eco-school. Minchuan village currently sits precariously by the river, a magnet for extreme flooding during a typhoon. The original school was buried under massive landslides caused by Typhoon Morakot in 2009. The new building's only chance of survival in the event of a similar disaster is to be on much higher ground. The perfect location is found on a mountain plateau above the danger zone. The new campus will be located up here. And uh, interesting enough, this is the very location where the old village is situated. And the second thing is the, the hill around the site is less steep than the hill. Uh, above the current village now. So the potential landslide risk is a lot less. Mm -hmm. Problem solved. And just in time, as engineers finish the new road. The first heavy trucks supplying the eco-school project pass without difficulty. For the first time since they started, the eco-school team feel like they're on a roll. The local villagers give them an opening ceremony, Aboriginal style. But as work begins on the eco-school, engineers receive shocking news. Government archaeologists doing a routine site survey discover the remains of an ancient tribe. According to regulation, work has to stop while archaeologists dig up the artifacts. Dr. Liu is the project leader. Hanjong 
The archaeological dig will take months to complete, eating into valuable construction time and stretching the team's tight schedule. If Quo and engineers on the ground cannot devise a solution in time, the villagers of Minchuan may have to endure another typhoon season without the shelter of the eco-school. The eco-school team struggles to continue work on site due to the discovery of ancient tribal artifacts in the foundation. The tight deadline means that the team cannot wait for the archaeological survey to complete before they start work. Scouring the surrounding areas for an alternative location would also take months. The team has no choice but to strike a compromise. Architect Kuo makes the drastic decision not to build the school gymnasium. Two classroom blocks will also be axed. <laughs> 